those long affiliate URLs that you might see. Many times I've seen sites like TinyURL recommended highly to do this. Nothing against those sites, they do work. However, you give up something major in the process. You give up branding to your own website. So instead of seeing internetvideolibrary.com slash long name slash long name, people see something like tiny URL. Again, it works, however, you lose your branding. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do this from your own website. You really only need to be able to FTP and or create new pages on your website. So if you have access to do that, we're going to show you how to do it and effectively how to do it without losing any of your own branding and at no additional cost except for a few minutes of your time. And when you create these links, you'll be able to modify them at any time without having to go back and uh, get another service or if TinyURL goes out of business, your websites will not be affected because we're going to show you how to do it using your own domain. The first thing you need to understand is FTP. So from here on out, I'm going to assume that you know how to FTP. If you don't, that's another video. So the first thing you need to know is where the head tags are. So when you first create a blank web page, you generally, if you're using software, it will have your head tags here. And you want to take this information right here and put that between the head tags on your new page. That's it. So you have here it's your refresh command where it says zero. Here, that's how long it takes before your site actually does a redirect. Zero means immediate. You could have a message on this page and you might want to change it to five seconds to give people the time to see something such as this page will now redirect you to. Okay? This is the link that you want them to go to. And it would generally be your domain and then if it's an affiliate link or something you could have uh, the whole affiliate link might be here and that could be kind of long and we can shorten all of that to this if need be okay so uh, we're going to look at another sample page here here is one of my pages that I've created and this is the long link to my page as you can see that's kind of long and we're going to shorten that to internet video library uh, short links so instead of how to videos create short links it'll just be internet video library short links as you can see uh, this is created with Dreamweaver so it has a couple extra lines this identifies uh, how the website is created so that all the items will be executed properly uh, this is another line that just shows its content type again this is for how the internet and the browsers will read your page but what we're concerned with is we have the basics of a web page the HTML, the head tag, the closing head body and the end of the page but this is our main concern right here having this page this link between the head tags that's it now let's show you a better example so I'm gonna to go to a couple pages I already have set up for this number one you can see we're here at the internet video library but this is a longer page to get there internet video library dot com how to videos slash create short links now that's kind of long however we could get there with a much shorter link by just saying instead of going through all of that we're just gonna go here and do I believe I called it short links or short link now that's the same link right there and it will read as you saw it redirects us to the proper long page now how did I do that I'm gonna use Dreamweaver to show you my examples again the first thing I do is I have to make sure that that directory exists on my site uh, since I'm using my site as the long affiliate link so as you can see it's how to uh, create short links so the page is there and it exists as I showed you but what I did was I created first another page called shortlink dot htm okay and in shortlink dot htm I only have one thing on the page 
and that's in the head tag so it will Im it will immediately go to this longer website and that's one method that's it you create a page with a name such as shortlink.htm and you put that in your main directory as you can see that's right here in my main directory it's not in a subdirectory now to make it even shorter okay instead of having shortlink.htm I could just have shortlink as a folder so what I did in this case is I created shortlink as a folder and inside that folder I have an index file and that index file is the same as the other redirect page only this time I don't have to tell people to type in uh, the short link see here right now this is even longer and it's short link dot htm well I can set it up so that we just call it short link such as this so that way people don't have to worry about leaving off the extension and because you created an index page in this folder it's still going to redirect to that much longer link now some people you will see sites where you have a number such as the number five and that would redirect to the longer URL however I don't like this method as much it's okay and it does work but the number five gives me it gives the search engine and it gives the visitor no idea what they're going to find at internet video library slash five so the naming of a, of a link is very important as well and in this case I wanted to call it something that would be memorable which would be internet video library dot com short link so that's short enough to get the point across and hopefully you've learned from this video. And that's all for now. Thank you.